Hello and welcome back to Avatar Plays Crusader Kings 2 After the End. And what have we done? What have we done? We have liberated this kingdom and I just now noticed that they are a tributary state of us. We're a duchy and they're a kingdom but they are our tributary state. And that's really interesting. I was concerned thinking about this since the last episode like hold on a minute we just created the kingdom that we don't want that we want we want the kingdom holy shoot oh my so yes my daughter is matrilineally married to them so it'll be of my family My question is, if my family members die, who, who's going to get this kingdom, is my question. She's my daughter and my son-in-law. If they both die, who gets it? Also, we're still out there, an old man of age 54 we're out there we need to kill 11 more people to get uh, the murderer execute item we need to win 15 more wars no we don't we, we could win some more wars if we wanted to but we're gonna rule at peace for some years probably actually we failed we literally just went to war so I guess we're not getting that at all <laughs> maybe not anytime soon you're in the process of building lots of cities. We don't really have anywhere else to build them. We've built as many cities as is reasonable, I think. We've built cities and temples and such. There are no lands around here that don't have... There's no land that isn't occupied now. And yeah, city walls are being built there by whoever owns it, and that's proper. But now we have a bunch of things to spend our money on because we upgraded our technology. And first off, at here in Kiona, we gotta be we gotta do castle walls and castle town. Do we do castle town first or castle walls? For the sake of extra income, we're doing the castle town. It probably would have been more beneficial all over if we had castle walls built in all the places we could build them. We could build a castle shipyard in La Romana. Did something happen there? I feel like something just happened here and I didn't know what it was. Hmm. Admiral Lucio of Hispaniola. Does he hate me? He should hate me. He desires the flotillas that I have and I'm a known murderer. Old world cultist. The first strike fails. Okay. Mexico is being Mexico. California is California. Things are as they are, and for some reason, Mobile is like cutting a line through Florida. The Caribbean Empire is still in revolt because we just finished that war, technically. The Caribbean Revolt is winning now for some reason. He has 10,000 soldiers, and the Caribbean Empire, she has 10,000 soldiers, and we could continue to take action, perhaps. It's not super strong action that we'll be able to take. But we could go for something valuable like Port au Prince. If I can find it. Oh, it's called Pota Prens now. Okay. And do we not do we not border that? Can I I'm going to try to look for it the flag alone. <laughs> it's really weird. I can't find it in this list. I should be able to conquer it. I should be able to. Hold on a minute. Let me just check here. I can conquest of Pota Prens. 
Why doesn't it come up in the list? It should be the, in the P's. Oh, there it is. <sighs> That's weird. Yeah, let's um, let's see how far we can push our luck here. Oh yeah, we just got this boat apparently. Let's use that. They're gonna be angry. They're gonna try to stop us. They're right to try. Let's split the armies up because this size of the army is not going to make conquering Port-au-Prince any more easy. It's just going to make it more... It's going to be more... It's going to be more safe, but it's not going to be faster necessarily having those numbers. So capturing as much land in Haiti just for the one conquered territory of Port-au-Prince. I think it's worth it. Anything to make claim on the actual kingdom of Hispaniola more more believable. It's it's hard to I I can't really wrap my head around how I can get this title to be mine. I think I need to be able to usurp it course and I got a special tithe another expedition against kingdom of SoCal okay good luck with that kingdom of Deseride is really small it looks like the the, the Mormon religion is a little bit very under pressure <laughs> So we can't really stop them like that. Hopefully these guys get their levy armies up so that they can defend themselves. And we've got a revolt. Typical. Typical revolt time. This army will deal with it. Go to Artibonit. Yeah, also there's diseases, apparently. That's kind of rough around. Are we going to lose this? Okay, we didn't. I was like, hold on a minute. We better not just randomly lose this war that I don't think we should lose. <laughs> we won the peasant war. That's, you know. There's my son being a, a candidate for imprisonment, but not the candidate. We can shut our gates. Does that mean we have the disease? Or we, we could have, but now we don't. I'm confused. A drunkard, maybe? I'm willing to take the risk that he's a good guy. Because he's got high learning, and that's what I'll accept. I need him to deal with my gout. So I don't die before my bloodline is forged. Okay. Hmm... If we do conquer Port-au-Prince, we can build two more cities. <laughs> Let's go to OK, as it's called now. They keep changing the names depending on the culture that rules it. It's kind of confusing. Are we trying to kill anybody? No? OK. She's not going to be easy to kill anytime soon. How about this guy? He's not really easy. We can't kill her. She's our daughter. And that's why we can't kill her, because we don't do that. Hey, they brought their army to my island. Maybe I should deal with that soon. Next chance I get. It'll make victory easier. So is the rebellion winning? The revolt is getting there. But I think I'm winning harder here, so we'll just take this army, bring it here, and then we click on the island, which is really hard to find. See if I can raise the local liege levies. It's 
extra numbers. I don't know if it's better numbers, but it's there. And that's one battle one. Go to Art of Benit, just to get all this land so we can capture one territory. It's, it's an exertion of power, to be certain. And we're almost, and I'm getting messages. This is unexpected. I need to deal with this. Hold up a moment. I thought I wouldn't be getting these. Let me just. All right. Hopefully we don't get any more because I'm just not. I I didn't. I thought I had disabled that, but I guess I didn't. Hmm. We let this man in. He gives us a eunuch after he tells us about the world. Muad. Moroccan. Another Moroccan eunuch. Interesting. A lot of money spent on just maintaining these units. It's not all great. I'll go into hiding for a moment, just so I can get that uh, get any good traits they might be willing to hand me over. The regency is over. I might get temperate. I got temperate, which makes me very strong. There's a strength in having all of these virtues as a pirate because so many brethren people start with bad traits or bad, they start with sins. And some of these sins and traits are poor. And these virtues a lot of times are really good. Brethren don't like temperate people. That is just something that is listed here, I guess. I didn't know that until now. So yeah. Brethren don't like temperate people. They like people who do everything excessively rather than in moderation. But getting the temperate trait makes me strong, despite making everybody dislike me. If I wanted to be liked, however, I would have to ignore the temperate trait. I don't want gluttonous either. So it's kind of a balancing act, isn't it? All right. We have not won a major battle. We won a battle, but what counts as a major battle is my question. I'm just going to bring my units down because we just have to wait, I think. Let's park these guys over here. Let my units refuel, refill, retrain re a little bit. Just reinforce, that's what I'm saying. All right, the war is over because the time ran out and we get Port Out Prince, which means these are all conquered. They're not worth a lot. And we just need maybe to. So we get Lubber Tax on there because they have no. They're not brethren yet. So I'm going to put the brethren. And we're going to put the proselytizer on them. And it's a good proselytizer. That's 20. The chance is higher than usual. Put administrator, administer realm on because we own this land. And we can potentially change it to our culture if we get lucky. What can we do now? Not much because these lands are kind of weakened. Let's just raise a few boats here. See what we can do if we wait for them to disappear, okay, or stop being hostile, and then we can raise our soldiers again. Everybody go here. Raise my boats all aboard. Everybody's going here. Now we're going to raid somebody. Who will we raid? The governor, militant of the righteous emperor, addresses a letter. Our traders have been acting with dishonesty. We will do this for grace. We will lose 30% in one of our territory regions, or maybe all of our regions. 
Tristel Kreis, Rausho, Apostolic, of course, Stable, Open, good. Whenever they're open, we get more money because of our trade port, our trade post. Very, very solid cash flow. Let's get Noble Customs this time. Religious Customs is also good here. I mean, they're all mediocre, to be sure. So, now we're going to do the raid thing, the thing we do best. Borikua, Haitian, Lukumi, and Cubano, and West Indy. West Indian, hmm. Where to now? Not, I shouldn't be looking here based on that. I should be looking at this. Where is the money? And why is it not? And why should I be concerned about this? They're, they get to raid them as well. They're raiding the empire. They're doing the good duty. I lose the diligent trait. I loses. I should back up because these guys have 8,000 troops on this island and I did not realize that at the moment. So <laughs> let's go over here instead. There's no money here. They've just been at war. Maybe we should leave the Empire to be for now. Where are their retinues, I wonder? If I can find their retinues, I will attempt to take the opportunity to slay them all. the Mormon expedition fails. Still looking for money. Why? Why are we still looking for money? It's because we very much would like to be able to build two more cities. <laughs> I guess we'll spend 200 gold on rain dances instead. But, you know, so for, for the greater cause. For the greater cause. And how are we doing on this Forge Bloodline? We won three of our 15 foreign wars. I get proud or I get humble. I should get proud for the prestige bonus. That's score, baby. Let's see. Still have the gout. I'm a known murderer. There's something I'm missing here. We can sell these prisoners, or we can execute them. The Countess of Cornwall for 10 gold? Nah, we're going to execute because we want that trait that makes us scary. Nestor, how about you? Nobody will care. Alfredo? Somebody will care. Nobody will care, but because they're brethren... They're, they're, they're a peasant ruler. Okay, that's a horrible noise. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Maybe I did implicitly, but I didn't ask for that. It's horrifying. Now, that puts us at 22. Let's get some more murder plots going. Who are you? Just some concubine? Okay. I guess that means that you're easy to kill for some reason I don't know that's not really fair to concubines I guess but to forge our evil person bloodline we're gonna do that Jesse was attacked by heathens in Port-au-Prince while trying to spread the faith yikes Where are the Brethren Holy Sites anyways? I mean, I've known at some point, but I don't know now. I think they're on islands. Maybe they're not. There's one in 
New Orleans. I should consider that, actually. If I don't consider that, and I mean, that's like ignoring a holy site. In fact, that's not like ignoring a holy site. That is, in fact, ignoring a holy site. Religion's looking kind of weird. Evangelical on the east, Catholic in the middle, peyotists in the north, consumerist Gaian mix up in the west, Haida Tlagong's having a bit of a rough time ever since they got a little bit... They got a little nerfed, didn't they? What is this army doing? Okay, they're not bothering us. Okay, very good. We've looted this place. Let's loot here. It won't be a lot. The Bahamas don't have a lot to loot here. An earthquake has struck Santo Domingo. The ground rumbles and shakes, threatening to damage poorly constructed buildings. Stained glass windows crack. Loose objects are scattered across the floor. Livestock are spooked by the motion of the earth. Well, it could have been worse. Fortifications must be prepared, and I might get paranoid. I might get diligent, or I might get kind. The brethren don't like kind people. I might get diligent if I do the focus on firefighting. It's about whether we get castle levy size or supply limit down. And there's a difference in local tax modifier stuff. Focus on firefighting, I think. I wanted the chance to get diligent, because that's a good all stats up for one. You meet a man dressed in all in black. With a mysterious smile, he unrolls a piece of parchment and says, I hear you fancy yourself quite the fencer. Vile machinations of the hangman. I am proud, but I'm not proud that proud. I'm going to say I'm zealous. He's the vile machinations of the hangman. It's, it's scary. Your subjects in Santo Domingo are calling for you to do something to protect them from future earthquakes. Codifying construction methods that produce sturdier buildings seems like a good first step. Yeah, I'll do that. Building codes for the whole realm, all the time, dude. I always, I believe in the building codes. I don't care how much more expensive it makes the buildings. It makes it so I don't have to literally rebuild buildings every time there's an earthquake or a hurricane. It's super useful. It's just good ethical practice. What are you doing? Oh, how dare they? The holy site of Rocher is an important center of the Brethren faith. Many great religions event, religious events are celebrated there, and the spirit of Mananan Maclea is said to permeate the entire area. Spend some gold, gain some piety. Rocher, that's here, right? Yeah. This is a... is. Let me look really close. This is a holy site of the Brethren faith. I sit on one. Okay, Tortuga is one. It's right, it says right there. Roatan. Oh, there's one over there. Okay. Where else? Chalmay, there's that one in New Orleans area. Cooperstown. Oh, it's all thin. It's in the Bahamas. Let me look at Mona. And Mona is in Kingston. The, we the, the West Indies, they call it. Okay, these are the West Indies, but that's confusing in terms of duchies or kingdoms and kingdoms. Duchies, we want the Duchy of Jamaica because it has a holy side there. Now that we've taken some money, let's bring our army back onto the boat and kick some raider ass. <laughs> the sea hag is pleased. Go, 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 go. Oh, he got away. How did he get away? They only have a boat of five. That doesn't make any sense. I was going to go get them, and I didn't get them. I failed. I couldn't get them.
crusade fails. Whatever crusade it was. But Hulgwin. All right. We look at the economy here. Santo Domingo is still good. We're under attack. Yikes. I have a feeling we should navigate these units back. Oh, yikes. They went there. I should have moved them here. I don't know if I can make it in time, though. Shoot. That ain't good. Dare not anger the Jaguar, I'm sorry. And now, we've doomed ourselves to a fight, and I'm infirm? <laughs> we can't raid anymore because we lost a battle, but we did end up winning another battle after that. However, it doesn't matter because we lost one battle, so we cannot raid them for a while. Not the finest moment. You are still in hiding. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, looks like I'm going to South America again. Let's look at our army. We have 3,000 soldiers that could be raised. Let's just drop off a whole bunch of soldiers. Northern Captaincy is doing stuff. That's scary. It's always scary when the Northern Captaincy decides to do stuff. We can afford to build another city. We need to kill more people. More people need to die. I've become infirm. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my opportunity at my bloodline if I don't kill as many people as I can. <laughs> I have a new heir, and it wasn't... What happened? My grandson. Oh! My son died. Of what, though? Poor health? Whoops. He died of poor health. Now I have a grandson at Barracoa. He just sits in Barracoa, I guess. The alliance between Captain Arnim and Captain Melissa, my vassal, has broken down. Well, I don't know. I didn't know they had an alliance. It's not really a key thing to notice. Proselytize here. First mate, I need you to fabricate claim. Uh, you can't really you're not good at that. Just do that there. It might come useful at some point. Let's get some soldiers up. Get on the boat, everybody. I need to acquire enough land to be able to usurp this throne which is difficult how will i be able to usurp that throne they are the same religion as us so usurping the throne of hispaniola we need to control 51 percent of the de jure to usurp the title we control 31 percent in order to control we need four more territories all we need to do is capture all of we just need to take Puerto Rico or one, two, three, four, the rest of Haiti. It's one or the other. If we can't get either of those or half of each, then we can't usurp the throne. The availability of our armies to do that is a rough thing. It's a rough suggestion. Like we don't know for certain. These guys have got to be raiding first. We're about to go mess with Zulia. <laughs> Kikuda, Zulia. 
All right, let's go here. Seems like a quick place to loot, get in, get out. Simple as that. Rain. Our, our rain dances must have had an effect. That's very nice. Now we have a, a port, our prince um, port, trade port, trade post here. So we should, we should improve it. Because now we have two trade posts. Very strong, very nice. The health is going down slowly though, because gout. So I've got a plus three modifier. That's minus one, minus two. That's minus three. We have the theology focus. So in general, I think we have a, a plus one health rather than a zero health or a negative health rating. And that's about as much as I can ask for, to be honest. Anything else is kind of scary, I'd say. All right, everybody on the boat. Do these guys belong to Kukuda? Okay, they belong to Kukuda now. Andina looks very spread out. Actually, let's go to Trinidad and Tobago. They seem... They seem vulnerable. And wealthy. The Jaguar is not to be toyed with. Split this in half. One of your units is going over to Tobago. So there's the Northern Captaincy being the Northern Captaincy. Very scary, yes. So these are the lands that are within the Northern Captaincy. Okay. That makes sense. Open Council positions. Chancellor. He'll be a good Chancellor, I think. You should fabricate claims on the Kingdom. Maybe. Maybe we shouldn't be fabricating claims on the Kingdom. Maybe we just want to get the usurp option. And it's okay to usurp against your own family members, right? That's not all bad. Also, why is this murder taking so long? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find somebody else who's not a sparrow. How about Emil? Emil looks easy. We'll just send some gold that guy's way, and that should be a solid number right there. Hmm, we're already building a Shatero training ground in Port-au-Prince. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Emil will die soon. We've got an item. Saint's finger bone. It's probably not useful for us in our religion. Pilot Clancy of Roche. My reputation is ruined because I'm trying to kill a person. My plot is revealed again. Crusade for Michigan. Those, those heathens, those Christian heathens and their Michigans. Whatever. This is in the Empire. This is its own thing. There's again, it's the French Antilles. There's Dominica, Guadalupe, and Martinique. Captain Yurik has sent word that Emile will die on a carriage. I hope he does. They killed the driver. So we failed again. How could this keep happening? Okay. We get another land on Tortuga to build another city. <laughs> Or maybe not a city, maybe a barony this time. But we do want to build cities because we're crazy. <laughs> we could build castles, but I want to build cities. See if I can actually reach the build 10 cities option. I should also seek treatment for illness. I'm clicking that instantly. We're going to borrow some money from bankers so we can do this deal. As long as you know what you're doing, Vincent. 
Don't mess up. Oh crap, he messed up. That's not good. The anchorage of Cité Soleil. Make that a, somebody else's. I hope I don't die from gout because my main man, the doctor, didn't do his job. They discovered that I killed a meal. That is the truth. Let's see. Who next? Raimi? Why Raimi? I've got a bunch of family members that I could attempt to kill, but I don't want to do that. Now, Sis Eliel, I'll try to kill you again, but it's not easy. Revolt risk increased in Port-au-Prince. In order to directly counter any issue we might have there, let's just put this guy in Port-au-Prince. Just in case. Alright, everybody, back on the boats. That's cash, that's money. Now we just need to repay that loan we just took out because we don't want to be under the loan. Seek treatment for illness, be it a good one, as long as you know what you're doing. I feel better. Very good. Don't want none of that feeling bad business going on. So yeah, and with all this cash now, I think we are very close to repaying the banker. We repay the bankers now, and that'll be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.